Hi Akshay. Today we are going to explore a website. It is called as nautil.us, and uh, they have some things. And can you read the title of the page that we are going to read? Ooh, evolution is the greatest show on earth. Yes. Nice. That's good. And you have to speak a little louder, probably. Okay. Okay, so what we'll do is we'll watch some videos okay. and we'll see how you what you understand and then we'll have a discussion on that. Okay. Okay. These are amazing videos about animals and their behavior. Um let's check out a few. Okay. <laughs> Is that an owl? Yeah. It's not an owl, I think. Owl can turn its head too much than no, humans. What are you seeing here? <laughs> it looks like it's on an invisible plumbing, you know, wall with a yeah. hole on top and it's stuck there. Yeah. It looks like but that. But it is, it is a kind of... Um, Smart bird, yeah, right? Yeah, stabilization it has. It can, the body is moving, but the head is staying focused on a target. Mm. This is quite common in birds because while they're moving or flying, mm. they need to be focused on the target, despite how they are oriented in several ways uh, during the flight. That's an incredible mm. thing about... Uh, Owls! The, no, generally birds. I think that's a, a hawk or an, an, or an eagle. Okay. It looks uh, like it is a hawk. See, it's called oh. head stabilization in the hawk. Okay. We'll just see one more time before we go ahead. Okay. So you know, head is stabilized. It's focused on one particular uh, view or or in a target or object. Or maybe something else. Yeah, it could be. <laughs> it looks funny that way. Can you do that? I don't know. Let's try, maybe. <laughs> Come move this side a little bit. Move this side. Yes. Okay. We'll move on to the next video now. Okay. Yeah. It's uh, it's called evolutionary arms race. Let's see what happens. Hmm. There is a mouse here. Do you see that? Yeah. And do you see something here? It might. It looks like a bit like coral leaves and looks a bit different too, like birds. This feathers. one. Yeah. It's a snake. <gasps> yeah. You can we'll watch it. It's a kangaroo rat. Let's see what Ooh. is that. It's Ooh, a viper. Yes. I... Wow. Did you see that? I'm this is happening in the dark it. actually. Uh, this is taken by a camera with infrared vision, I think. So then... Did you see that? Yeah. <laughs> This is it funny? <laughs> yeah. It's a ninja, ninja rat. Dot org, they say. Let's try it again, okay? And try to observe how the rat, this is called a kangaroo rat because its mm. hind legs are strong and mm. it's a species of rat, basically. Uh, does it live without water sometimes? Why do you say that? I learned that from some part of my Oh, when I was first standard, I learned that. Okay. Uh, I think kangaroo rats don't live there. But they are in, in kind of, I think desert. they are kind in deserts probably. So what desert, is that may yeah. be, but I'm not sure. I don't mm. know that. Yeah. Okay. That's yeah. good. It has, it is able to kick the snake away and um, the snake has the poison, right? Yeah. And it, and it has a springy action to catch on the prey. Mm. And the mouse has gained something else. Mm. The, this rat yeah. has some other capacity to be able to kick off with their hind legs. If you see, it's kicking wow. away the uh, the snake. Yeah. The snake almost fell out of its uh, pit. Yeah, that's nice. Okay, let's move on. Oh, this is something. It's yeah, I don't want to look it. Yeah, I understand. See what is happening. Okay, let's play it again. <gasps> but they're poisonous. It's venomous. You shouldn't say poisonous. Yeah. It's venomous because it's venomous. they have venom. Po venom is the venom is poisonous. How come it's poisonous? Yeah. 
poisonous and useful. Which one? Venom. Venom is useful. Some of the components of venom are useful for mm. self medicines. That's right, and medicines. You're right. Mm. So the point here is that the snake here, when yeah. it is um, attacked or threatened by, it faces a threat. It plays like it is dead. So most animals do not want to eat uh, dead animals. In some of the snakes, you'll also see some liquids coming out of their mouth and smelling bad because of which something like eagle and others apart from the scavengers they do not want to eat and then the snake is saving it is playing dead but okay what about vultures do they eat snakes probably they would eat dead snakes yeah vultures mm -hmm. all, always more often they eat dead things they are scavengers right mm -hmm. yeah yeah but eagles are predators they Hunt and eat. Yeah. Okay. But they don't eat uh, dead animals. Yeah, not much. Yeah, it should be a because, fresh kill. Because their acids in their stomach are not so strong as a vulture's? Probably. I don't know. <laughs> Maybe not. Maybe. Yeah. So we'll see something like uh, what happens with the bees. Bees, honey the bees. honeybees. Yeah. Yes, yes. I like That's them. That's a honeybee. Do you see that? Moment in the beehive, it's yeah. like a synchronous, like something, it's a wave like thing moving around, right? Yeah, like in the sea. Yeah, it's like a wave, isn't it? It's, yeah. it's beautiful. It's like the top one, it's like the top of view of the wave. Yeah, top view. That's right, that's right. What you said is right. So, meanwhile, we'll just read about it a little bit so we will know what it means. It's a collective uh, behavior. There are thousands of or millions, maybe thousands of bees here. I think they are But they are all going in like a, a wave. Pattern. Right? Yeah, yeah. That's the pattern. That's good. Do you see that? Yeah. They are, that's a good behavior. I think they are covering and doing that. But I don't know why. Why? Why do you think? Any? No idea? No. No. We, we can only know what it... Uh, why do they have? Let's see what did they have. Mm -hmm. um, hundreds of honeybees. Hundreds. Yeah. Not thousands or millions. See, it is to design to scare off wasps and, and predators. other predators. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So when something is moving like that, it, when they are all working in together, mm -hmm. then it feels like they are. Um, it's like a bigger animal. Or a bigger thing. It's not one bee. It's like a whole bee hive is one organism. It gives the illusion, and then they feel like that. But how come we can scare predators away? Because a predator will come bees this much. A wasp would be a little bigger, and when it's coming, it it will it might feel that it is able to attack a little bit. But yeah. if it is a whole hive working like woo like one organism, then it becomes scared. But how come it becomes scared of the hive? Hopefully, probably that's what, that is our understanding. Mm -hmm. we, we only can theorize what is likely and not. Mm -hmm. We don't know everything for sure. We might have to look at it, uh, we'll read about it a little more later. Yeah? Okay. What's this? Wow! A male peacock and a female peacock. You don't say peacock. For a female, what ah, is yeah. it? It's a bee hen, yeah. That's right. It's blooming its plumage. Yes. It's that's, that's such so a beautiful plumage. Yes. I Huge, like right? Big. Yeah. Do you remember our pickup road travels? And yeah. We saw yeah, so many of them. Why do you yeah. think the plumage is there? What what's the use of it? It's used to attract the female peacocks. Again, you said female peacocks. Oh, yes. It's used to attract a uh, peahen peacock. Peahen? Peahen, yeah. <coughs> Sorry. That's... Uh, yeah. But you also think anything might be scared of looking at that. So a bird is only a little bit. But when it puts its plumage, it, it opens it up. It likes like a huge animal. And that might scare away predators. Is it, do you think it's possible? I don't think so. Okay. 
Oh, so you think it's only for to attract the pea hands? Yeah. Okay. Because that's what we read? No, no, I just heard it. Okay, you heard about it. Mm -hmm. okay. Yeah. Okay, that's good. Remember the small plumage bird, the uh, uh, turkey? Yeah. Oh, yeah. yeah. <laughs> we dance as turkeys. <laughs> you see something here. This is, birds are amazing, you know? Yeah. Uh, me too. They are wonderful. Let's see this one. What's this? It looks like a big snake hanging on that bird. Yeah, it's it's uh, weird. Bird, yeah. As it, what is this thing? I don't know. Its head looks like a echo <coughs> echo locating fish. <laughs> oh, the I ones that you it. saw in marine animals, beluga, yeah. beluga whales. I think they have that, right? Mm -hmm. yeah. They look, they have to look a bit similar. <coughs> Not in marine What do you think life. the structure is? I don't know, it looks uh -huh. like it's... You a can snake. say what you think it is, okay? I mean, do you think it's useful to the bird by any means? No, I don't. Right, it's weird, isn't it? Yeah, it's yeah. so weird. Me. That's right. But in birds, we, we do see amazing stuff, right? Yeah. They have peacocks, like plumages. They have many different kinds of... Yes, yes. I mean, you know, <coughs> lions, Here, cats. let's see this one. This is something... I like we, we will stop with this video, okay? This is the last video. Okay. You can see that gazelles, two, ga two deer or gazelles are fighting. You mm. see something coming here? The way I'm pointing it. Yeah, it's. Uh, but these two are still not looking. They're not doing anything about it. They're just continuing to fight. Uh, now they, they would. Do you think they would run away? No. Yeah. I, oh, it got one. <laughs> what got it? It got one. What got it? A lioness. That's right. I was looking whether you'll say lion or lioness. How do you say it is a lioness? That's a female. They always go hunting. Oh, males don't? No, they stay in the... They stay in... The, uh, they also hunt, yeah. but very uh, late. But this is not even... That's not a lion. I think it's a... Yeah, it might be a lioness. No, I, I don't think it's a lioness. I, I think, think it's it, a, is. it is a cheetah. Because the tail, I think, is too large. Can you check once again? Okay. And it's running also, it's very fast. So maybe it's a cheetah, not a lion. Or maybe a leopard. Uh, yeah, leopards usually hunt where they're in the forest, like trees, like things. But you could be right too. You could be right. Yeah. Uh, it's not very clear, but the spotting, if you see the spotting pattern on the on these, there are little difference. Yeah. What do you think it is? It's a lion? Maybe it is a lion. It is a lion. Again. Lioness. Okay, yeah. Lioness. It, it is doesn't a lion. have a mare, so it's Man. a mane. Mane, so it's not a lion. It is a lioness. Um, yes, from the tail also you can see that. The lions, the lioness or lion's tails have a tough top hair at the tip of their tails. Okay. Yeah, and this is the tail. They have it. There's so many, edge? so many uh, hairs. Like In the edge, they have a lot of hair. Yeah. Cheetah's tail doesn't have it. They have very long, strong um, one. Okay. Okay, with, a, with no hair? Yes. Mm. No, there is hair, but not long hair. Mm. Yeah? yeah. So, I think uh, this is the, it? all these animals are, are amazing <clears throat> and fascinating. That's right. And it, it, they all have come about through evolution. Yeah. It's um, amazing. It's amazing. Yes, I agree with you. So next time <coughs> we'll meet up again on a different website. Yeah. We'll find some nice, interesting videos. Yeah. And we'll find. Okay, say bye now to the camera there. Yeah. Bye. Bye. <laughs>